Thank you all for allowing us to come out today and be a sponsor for this event. Uh, First Security has done countless projects with UCA over the last couple years and just really enjoyed the partnership we have with this university and with our community and we look forward to several of these events in the future. Um, four years ago on this very day, um, in this room, there was announced a kid from uh, Skeet, Texas by the name of Desmond Lewis signed with UCA Bears. Uh, coming off a great uh, senior bowl performance a few weeks back, now this young man is expected to have his name announced in the upcoming NFL draft in April. Also, just this past Sunday night, a New England Patriot by the name of Chris White uh, became a world champion. Um, he was recruited by Coach Steve Campbell to play at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. With this being said, I would like to ask you to join me in please welcoming Coach Campbell to the podium to hear about his second recruiting class. Thank you, John Ross. Would like to would like to thank you, John Ross and First Security Bank for your sponsorship of this wonderful event. I'd like to thank all y'all for coming out. Uh, y'all know Christmas was a month ago, but uh, for football coaches, Christmas was this morning. This was the uh, this was one of the happiest days of the year for us. Really felt like that we addressed all of our needs. You know, we had some immediate needs. We lost some, some great football players this past year. Uh, Desmond Lewis was an outstanding player. Uh, Clay Murphy, Damian Watts at wide receiver. Uh, lost some outstanding tight ends. Uh, lost a, a very good nose guard. Lost an outstanding linebacker. Lost a couple of guys in the secondary. Eddie Camara, outstanding kicker. Uh, we lost some, some outstanding football players. But the thing I'm so excited about is that we addressed all of those needs. Uh, so very, very pleased uh, with the, uh, the effort that our coaching staff put in. Guys, coaches, if you would, please stand up. Uh, let's, let's give our coaches uh, – these guys – these guys worked tremendously hard uh, all during the season and through the offseason of putting together an outstanding signing class. One of the things I'm most proud of is we got some immediate help in, in January. Uh, you know, you've got two signing classes. You've got your December the 15th signing class, which are your midterm transfer guys, and then you've got your signing class that, where you sign guys today. Uh, we had an outstanding midterm class. We were able to get in eight transfers, eight guys that are going to be an immediate impact on our football team uh, this fall. These guys are sitting up front. Guys, y'all go ahead and stand up right now and let's, let's give them a, 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 big, a big welcome. You know, what well, and we'll watch each one of these guys film as we go, and I'll introduce them individually. But one of the things I was very pleased today when our equipment manager set up, you know, because this first day these guys have put on our travel shirts. And uh, he said, Coach, we don't have any triples or fours. We need a couple of triples and fours. And uh, I said, well, we're going in the right direction. Uh, I, said, I said, start ordering more triples and more fours because that, that's where we wanted to go. And one of the things we wanted to do is, is get bigger as a football team, get bigger, get stronger, get more physical, and uh, really felt like that uh, we made great progress in, in that direction. So first, I'd like to uh, introduce our, our, our midterm transfers. Uh, first guy is Jacquez McMillan. Jacquez, you can go ahead and stand up. Uh, Jacquez, outstanding wide receiver from Mittawamba Community College. Jacquez was rated, uh, he was a three-star on, three on rivals, three-star scout, was one of the top 20 junior college wide receivers in the nation, uh, has outstanding size, six foot four, 200 pounds, uh, excellent blocker. And, you know, here you can see him going down the field. He's got, you know, an athletic catch. You know, he's got great down-the-field playmaking ability. He's long. Uh, here you can see him make a uh, – that looks like the catch in the Super Bowl the other night. <laughs> Didn't that look like that catch that guy made the play before the, the play that won the Super Bowl? So, outstanding player. Brady, Brady Moore, Brady stand up. Now, Brady, six foot six, 225 pounds. Uh, Brady is a, an outstanding prospect, a very – another big physical wide receiver. 
Here you can see him catch a football and then run after the catch. You know, what you, what you might not know just looking at Brady, he was a track guy in high school. He is a sprinter. He's got sprinter speed at 225 to 230 pounds. Brady is also an honor student with over a 3.5 GPA in community college. So outstanding football player uh, with great size, athleticism. See him go up and catch a ball at the highest point. He is definitely going to create some mismatch problems for, for defensive backs. So uh, very excited about, about Brady Moore. Great hands, uh, very strong football player. Here you can see him block, a very unselfish player. So he has, has all the tools to be uh, an outstanding, outstanding player. See, be, you see him stick out and catch out with his hands. Thank you, Brady. You know, right, you two guys stand back up, Jacquez and, Jacquez and Brady. All right, look, we got 6'6", six, 6'4". Six, six, that gives us some tremendous size at wide receiver. I'm, I'm talking about some, some great size, some guys that are very physical football players. Uh, but then we added a, a great playmaker to the mix. This guy became available. We got a call that from uh, Brandon. They may want to, uh, to transfer from Arkansas State. Got a release from Arkansas State. He was a two-time All-State player at Conway High. Broke all of the receiving records at, at, at Conway High. So we wanted to add a playmaker to the mix. He, he does not have quite the size, but what, what he doesn't have in size, he more than makes up for in playmaking ability, speed and quickness, agility. Big time football player in Brandon Cox. <laughs> Brandon, the thing you'll you know, you, you want to say slot, but here he split out wide going deep. You know, most slots aren't deep ball guys. There's, they're more middle of the field guys, bubble screen guys, things of that nature. The thing that Brandon adds to the mix, yes, he is a slot. He can catch the bubble. He can run the reverse. He can look, acrobatic catches. Uh, you know, he, he adds some – some of that outside, he's got the outside playmaking ability and an inside body with, with the quickness and speed and agility. Look at him get a foot down before he goes out of bounds. Great football IQ. Uh, you know, and Brandon is also an outstanding punt return, kick return guy. So he really, really brings a lot to the table. And he's a, a, a local young man from right here in Conway, and it's always great to – to, to bring another young man, give him an opportunity to come home. You can't tackle him in a phone booth. I mean, he is, he is quick. All right. Thank you. Zach, Zach, stand up. This is Zach Gogler. You know, we lost some, some outstanding tight ends. Jacoby Walker, who was a, an outstanding player for us, and Joe Carmichael, outstanding player for us. So we said we need some immediate help there at the tight end position, and, and we were able to go out and do that. Zach, uh, we signed from Fort Scott Community College. Uh, was an all-conference tight end uh, this past year. Very, that's him at the point of attack, knocking that whole side of the, the line of scrimmage down. Uh, very, very physical football player. He is an, an outstanding, outstanding blocker, but as you can see here, he's got great ball skills, very soft hands for a big guy. See him catch up behind himself. At, you know, a lot of times you don't see tight ends be able to, to make that play. That's him at tight end to the top. Soft hands. He'll play uh, tight end and super back for us. This is him blocking here, number 87. See him finish at the end. So he's not only a, a, a pass catcher, you know, but he's a very physical run blocker. Goes up and catches it in a crowd and is able to take a lick. So very excited to, to have him on board. All right, next we added a guy that, and I'll tell you when we found out about him. We're on the bus ride on the way home from Southeastern. And, uh, you know, and we're, we're not feeling very good uh, as coaches, as, as could be imagined. And uh, Coach Looney got a tweet. Uh, you know, to, to take a look at, at this guy's film. And uh, we, we looked at the film on the way home. We said, wow, we have, we have got to go get that guy. And uh, followed up on it and was able to get him in for a visit. This is a guy that was recruited by a lot of, you know, and a lot of these guys have been recruited by 
a lot of school. I don't like to mention the names because that's just not what I like to do. But uh, a lot of these guys had a, a lot of Division I offers and offers to definitely go play at other places. But this young man has, has been uh, visited other Division I schools. Uh, I'm talking about on the FBS level in the bowl subdivision and had bowl subdivision offers. First team in JCAA All-American. Uh, you know, that's, that's outstanding. Uh, we're, we're very, you know, very proud to, to get him on board. He's an outstanding football player. All-conference, All-American tight end. Very athletic uh, to tight end position. Has great speed. For, here you can see him going down the field, and they're not going to catch him. So he's got... Uh, a lot of athleticism in a 255-pound body. But also a, a, a very physical blocker. Goes up in traffic, makes, a, makes an athletic catch. Tremendous ball skills at the, at the tight end position. And then, as you can see here, he is a, he is a finisher. He, uh, he, he finishes each block. Very, very physical football player. Uh, great at the point of attack. I mean, so I, I feel very, very good about, about the help that we got in at the uh, – the help that we got in at the, at, at the tight end position between, between Zach and Scotty. We got some, some immediate help at that tight end position. Next, Rafael Garner. Rafael was, a, first of all, the thing that impressed me, an honor student. You know, right off the – all state linebacker in the state of Alabama. That's an honor student. Great football player. Right, boom! You see me hit him right in the throat and knocked him backwards. A very physical, uh, very physical football player that, that, that loves to play the game. Uh, is a sideline to sideline linebacker. Uh, just a, an all-around, you know, we, we lost uh, Blake Childers this past year, who was an outstanding player, player for us for a couple of years at the linebacker position. And, uh, you know, Raphael, being here this spring, Raphael's a freshman now. He's got four years left. That's very exciting. Uh, he's not a junior college transfer. We were able to get him out of high school. So he's got four years left, and he's already in the weight room lifting and running with us. We'll have a chance to get a great spring under his belt. Here he picks one, takes it back to the house. Uh, so he's a playmaker. And when he hits you, normally you go backwards. And that's what you want to see. <laughs> All right. Big Rostell King. Rostell we got from Highland Community College in Kansas. He was a, a first team, first team All-State player over there, all Jayhawk, uh, all Jayhawk Conference. You can see him here at Nose. 300 pounder, getting great push in the middle. Last year, we did not have a 300 pounder on defense. This year, we ought to line up with, with three or four. So uh, it's something that we, we made a conscious effort to get bigger on defense. And Rostell, you know, is very physical in the middle. Great quickness, uses his hands well, gets off of blocks. Uh, he was a state champion wrestler, which uh, that's always good. To, to, that means they can use their hands. They understand leverage. Does a great job of playing with low pads. You, you notice, and that's, that's from that wrestling experience. Keeps his pads down, uses his hands well is able to get off of blocks right there, uh, does a tremendous job. So he's definitely going to help us. He's going to give us some much needed. All right, next, Big Javian Bubba Williams. We're very pleased with, to, to get Bubba. Bubba went to North Little Rock High School, then signed and went to Coffeeville. Made all conference at Coffeeville as a freshman, broke his wrist, redshirted his past year. So one of the things I'm very excited about Big Bubba He's got three years left, and that is already he's got his AA degree under his belt with three years of eligibility left, so that is very exciting. Uh, Big Bubba is a force to be reckoned with in the middle. Uh, you know, 370 pounds that can move as good. Watch him get up right here. He gets up, takes off, boom, makes a tackle from behind. You don't find big guys that, 
that uh, that are able to do that. I don't know if you, I know y'all saw the uh, Wolf Wolf Fork, the big D tackle for the uh, for the Patriots that played the other night that helped shut down beast mode uh, for for the Seattle. But Bubba's got a lot of those a lot of those abilities. A very big guy in in the middle of a three four defense can definitely. Created a fumble there. The guy was trying to get out of the way. With great lateral lateral quickness for a for a guy his size. So you, the the thing that's the thing that's exciting about this group is they're here. I mean, they are already here in school, taking classes, lifting and running every day. We've already had them in the weight room for for a good three and a half weeks, and they're all working extremely hard. Uh, and they're going to be an immediate help to us. So we're very excited about the class that we were able to get in at, at, at the midterm. Uh, next, we'll go to our, our high school signees, Matt Cummins. Uh, Matt, from right here at, at Conway High, two-time all-conference, uh, all-state kicker. Uh, Matt is also an honor student. Here he's kicking a, I guess that was a 47-yarder. Uh, tremendously strong leg. Uh, Matt kicks, kicks off and punts at Conway High. He also played, he was a starting receiver and caught, caught a lot of balls, is an outstanding athlete. And that's one of the things that, you know, here he, he downs it, downs them inside the 20. Here he's kicking off, he kicks it five yards deep in the end zone. So, you know, a very multi-talented guy that not only can handle extra point field goals, kickoffs, and punts. Uh, thing I like, too, is, is, you know, Matt played receiver. He played uh, a lot of football and has been in a lot of pressure situations and is used to coming through. So we're very, very pleased to get Matt Cummins on board. <laughs> Next, uh, Mr. Versatile, Kirk Ball. We signed Kirk as a quarterback. Now, this guy was in this – I've never done this before – signing the Defensive Player of the Year to be a quarterback. He was a 5A Defensive Player of the Year as a safety. Here you can see him take off like a 98-yard run, tremendous speed and athleticism at the quarterback position. Uh, I think he won a state championship in baseball as an, as an all-area basketball player, as a great basketball player, was a 5A Defensive Player of the Year at safety. You just saw him take off on a 98-yard run. Here you can watch his arm, watch him move around in the pocket and then throw a strike downfield, uh, just an, an outstanding quarterback prospect. Very smart football player, very savvy football player. Uh, he can throw the football on the run, or he can pull it down and, and take off running with it. So he, you know, gives some versatility there at the, at the quarterback position. So we're very excited about, about Kirk. Tremendous arm strength. with a, a, a lot of athletic ability. So we're very excited about Kirk Ball. Next, we, we wanted to sign two quarterbacks in this class. We, we all saw the Ohio State deal. They were down to their third guy. Last year, you know, uh, Taylor got hurt during the year, and we, we needed more than one quarterback. So we wanted to go up, and there were two outstanding quarterbacks in this year's class. Uh, both of them we thought were – Outstanding. I mean, way too good to uh, to pass up. So we we also signed Colt Harfield. And Colt, six foot seven. That's not a misprint. Six seven, two fifteen. Uh, out of out of Clements High School, just outside of uh, Houston. He was a district MVP, an all academic uh, young man. Was the team most valuable player. Uh, Houston Chronicles top one hundred. You you can see all that. But uh, very strong arm. But very athletic, you'll watch him move around in the pocket, step up, can pull it down and, and take off running. He's very mobile for a six foot seven guy. To me, he was reminiscent of, of Colin Kaepernick, you know, the, the tall quarterback for the for the 49ers that can that can watch him pull it down and, and move around. He is definitely mobile for a for a big tall quarterback with, with tremendous arm strength. And again, he's an, uh, an honor student in school, so 
really has a, a tremendous upside. Great ball skills. He'll sit in the pocket and take a hit. You saw he was he sat in there and threw that one. This one here, he's got pressure coming on him as well and, and throws a strike down the field. Here he's got pressure right in his face, throws a beautiful deep ball, hits him right in stride. So very excited to get, get Colt Harfield uh, on board as well. Sam Dunbar. Wanted to add some size on the offensive line. Lost a great offensive tackle in Cole Carruthers. Sam Dunbar, six foot seven, 300 pounds, out of Russellville. Boom. Very explosive. He is inexplicable. Most of the – watch this one. Bam. When, when, when he hits you, you go down. Uh, he is a lot of explosion for a big guy. Whenever you get that weight leaning on somebody, eventually they go to the ground. So he is an outstanding prospect. Had to hold on late to this one. They, they had a lot of schools coming down to Russellville trying to pry him out of there. And, uh, but he held firm and, and very excited to, to get Sam Dunbar on board, an outstanding prospect that has a tremendous future. Boom. Uh, great pancake blocker there. You know, right now, here you can see his hands. Uh, don't know that we'll be throwing it to him much. Not, not, not with these guys here, but, but he can catch a ball as well. Next, Hunter Lee. Hunter is another uh, – got a great body. Six foot six, 290, has a, the ability to gain more weight. Is a great zone blocker. Here he's running outside zone. He can really run. Uh, has great lateral movement. Uh, is a, a guy that is only going – he came to camp this summer and, and really performed well in, a, in our camp. Run, a, run an outstanding 40 time. Uh, he's got a lot of athletic ability, uh, and he's got a great frame to, you know, he may wind up being 325, 330 one day on his frame because he's 290 right now, and he is still very, very lean and thin. So, uh, but just a, an outstanding prospect here. You can see his lateral movement, which that's tough to do at, at, at six foot six. Uh, but, but an outstanding prospect there in Hunter Lee that we're, we're very proud of. This next guy, Jordan Jones, he's an exciting guy, uh, very versatile. Uh, was the team's most valuable player in 14. Watch him here. Uh, he's a bigger guy. Think Courtney Whitehead body-wise whenever you – then he shows some speed, physicality, uh, and burst getting down the sideline. Was also a great – now, we don't have in his punt return, kick return highlights on this film, but he, he's also – watch his speed here in a 200-pound, in a 210-pound body. He pulls away. So he is a bigger, more physical, fast wide receiver with – he don't look like a punt return, kick return guy, but uh, has great punt return, kick return ability. So he's a, an outstanding prospect. You know, he could even play – he played some running back in high school. Watch him take off again, accelerate, and they're not going to catch him. He needs to stay in bounds. <laughs> take off. Uh, but a very, uh, a very good prospect. Uh, great size, outstanding explosion, speed, hands, very versatile football player. This one, Juan Jackson, Magic Juan, Action Jackson, uh, is an outstanding football player. You know, the, saw him over Christmas break. And the highlight, this was the first, first play we saw right here. Uh, he is a, a great player on both sides of the football. He was an all-state running back. And we weren't really looking for a running back, so he didn't show up on the radar that much. First team all state at running back, but we, we didn't sign a running back. I don't know if y'all – we weren't recruiting running backs, so I, let's just watch him anyway. And this kid's tape showed up, and he just makes – this is him at safety. Watch this. Pow! I mean, he is a, a very physical football player with, with, with great playmaking abilities. Boom, pick it and go to the house. Uh, uh, just a, a – and, again, a lot of his highlights are on defense. We didn't put the – he was he was an all-state running back. So, uh, a lot of his best stuff is – a lot of it's over on offense. This guy's really a, a, a special football player. Great tackler. And the thing that that sold me – you know, you watch his film, it's, it's – he's an easy sale. 
but he got the character award at his high school. His, in his high school, he was voted Mr. Character for, for Gardendale High School. So outstanding young man. This guy, Devin Spurlock, uh, great football player out of Navarro. He'll be able to come in and give us immediate help uh, in the secondary at safety. Devin, is a, he's a great tackler. Uh, you can see here, great cover skills. Stays on top of them, is able to, to get the ball out here in man-to-man -man coverage. Boom. Let's him catch it and then is able to make the tackle. Uh, you know, normally you have safeties that are great tacklers, but sometimes they may struggle, struggle in coverage. Sometimes you have great coverage guys that aren't great tacklers. Devin brings the whole package in that he can play man coverage, keep him from catching the football, and also come up and make a tackle and get the running back on the ground to – to keep them from, from being able to gain more yards. Here down on the goal line makes a, a big tackle to, to keep them out of the end zone on, on fourth down. So uh, he will definitely be able to come in and, and uh, provide us some, some much needed uh, experience in the, in the secondary back at safety. James Pope. James Pope, uh, again, we had to hold on for him for, you know, he had, he visited uh, quite a few colleges and there were, you know, when he was on his visit here, the phone was ringing off the hook. Uh, other schools calling him, trying to get him to go there and had to cancel a visit this past weekend. Tremendous pass rusher. He'll go uh, to help on the other side of, of Woodard uh, to give some, some great pass rushing ability, that something that we definitely uh, need. Here he's, he's a relentless player. He plays full speed. Everything he does is wide open, full speed. Here he runs it down from the backside. And normally when he gets there, he's not in a good mood. So uh, he is, he's what you want as far as defensive line, outside linebacker. Again, he gets this sack off of effort. But he was an all-state player in the, at Northeast Oklahoma. Again, that's effort. Here he is standing up at outside linebacker. Um, that, but he is, he's a guy that we're very, very excited about. Roy Sutton, freshman, Fossil Ridge High School out of Fort Worth. Dallas-Fort Worth super team, uh, first team all district, team captain, and National Honor Society. Great pass rusher. Watch. You, he's got a whole tape full of quarterback sacks. Here he is here at defensive end, goes on the inside move. Another sack, so he will definitely give us some, some much-needed uh, help in, in, in pass rush. Here he's able to play off a reach block, uh, come back inside and make a tackle. Again, another sack. So, uh, you know, Roy's a guy that, uh, you know, has got a body to add 15 to 20, 25 pounds and either put his hand on the ground as a defensive end or get in that 210, 215 range and be a, an outstanding outside linebacker, very versatile football player. DeAndre McGill, uh, Jonesboro Sun linebacker of the year, all-state linebacker like three years in a row. He was a – this guy, if you watch his 10th and 11th grade film, you go, wow, unbelievable, but where are you going to play him? Because he's playing nose guard at 5'10", 210. He's playing nose guard, playing defensive line, and you go, well – you, you want to sign this guy because he's such a great football player, but he's not big enough to be a nose. He's not big enough to be a defensive end. Anyway, this year they moved him to linebacker, and he is all over the field, sideline to sideline making plays. Uh, he is a truly outstanding uh, football player that we'll either put at, out, at outside linebacker at the rover position or possibly at the uh, wheel position. But an outstanding all-around football player. Led his team to state championship game where they played P.A., uh, this is him, number 24. The thing, I, one word, I, he is sudden. He, he just shows up, sudden. Uh, he's what you would call a, a sudden football player. He gets on you before you know it. Creates a lot of turnovers. Creates a lot of sacks and tackles for loss. Watch how quick he gets on the quarterback once he... Once he, once he makes that, he closes. That's great closing speed. Yeah. 
See, that's another one where he, he just gets on you before you get ready. He's got a great burst, a great – he's a great closer with great finishing speed, uh, outstanding prospect, and a guy that we're very excited about. All right, Garrett Sharp. Garrett's an inside linebacker from Blinn Community College. Garrett, you know, is from McAllen, Texas. He was uh, most valuable player of the Valley there in, in, in McAllen. He was his team captain, a great tackler. There he squares a guy up, hits him. Uh, dead in the throat and knocks him back. But he is a, an outstanding inside linebacker that uh, we're very excited about. Playmaker. You know, he's got two years of, of community college experience playing against a lot of good football players uh, under his belt. So he ought to be able to come in and, and compete for a – you know, a, a lot of play in time right off the bat. We're counting on that. He is a sideline to sideline guy, uh, very rangy, long, right at 6'3. His uncle is a linebacker coach at TCU. Uh, so he comes from a football family, uh, has a very high football, football IQ. Nelson Gunnell from uh, St. Pius in Houston, Texas. You know, this young man made has made all district at quarterback and linebacker. There he's uh, creating a turnover, uh, was a playmaker on, on both sides of the football, is a, uh, a very smart, savvy football player. Again, that has played both sides, so he understands, you know, what the other side is thinking. We'd like to get him in and uh, start him off at inside linebacker and feel like he's got a tremendous future there. He's a very physical player uh, with a great nose for the football. Does a great job there playing off the block and being able to uh, get, the, get the guy on the ground. He can play both inside the box and outside the box. Here you can see him on the, on the bubble screen, uh, the tunnel screen, being able to, to go out and, and, and make a tackle in space. So he's not only a box player, Uh, Nelson Gunnell at, at linebacker. Luke Ross. Luke is from Jackson, Mississippi, Jackson Academy. He was also a team captain, defensive end, and one word to describe him is high motor. Again, he is a guy that is a – he's a relentless guy, full speed, big weight room guy. Uh, he, he spends a lot of time in the, in the weight room developing his body, and he's up to about 235 now. And, you know, one thing he can do is – he can either put his hand on the ground and rush, rush the passer or stand up and, and be an inside linebacker. Uh, very physical player that plays with a relentless attitude, uh, plays hard, and, uh, you know, he's got a lot of great football in front of him. Played for a great program there in, in Mississippi, a team that's used to winning championships, and uh, he was voted their team captain. Uh, very physical football player. That's him getting a – a pancake block on the uh, on the punt return. All right, Chris Terrell, J.M. Tate High School. Uh, he was a two-star recruit. Uh, he was a Pensacola News Journal Defensive Player of the Year, and that encompasses about 25 schools that are 5A, 6A, 7A. So this was a, a very big get for us. Now he had a, you know, we we beat a Conference USA school to get him. They were calling him uh, this morning. So we were very excited to, to, to be able to, to get him on board. Outstanding football player. Uh, is going to be an, an outstanding defensive end. Uh, you know, his, whenever we started recruiting him, it said 235. He was 6'2", 235. Comes up for his visit. We get him on the – we always weigh him, 265. Uh, that's how fast a lot of these young men are growing from one summer to the next. Uh, this guy's best football is, is – he's a great player. You can see on film, outstanding pass rusher, has a, a, a football demeanor. You see him, I mean, he, he plays mad and, and physical. Uh, but he's still growing. He's 17 years old. And he's at 265, and he was 235 before they started the season. So he's gained 30 pounds and still looks really good uh, in, in the last five months. So he's, we're very excited to get him on board and uh, look forward to uh, him having a, an outstanding future here. You know, 
All right, Ricky Dobbins. That says 6'2", 315. Ricky is, is every bit that big, uh, if not bigger. That's him playing down the line of scrimmage. He has great lateral movement for a guy that is uh, three and a quarter plus. Uh, he does a great job at the line of scrimmage, being able to, to neutralize dry blocks. Does a great job of playing laterally on zone schemes. And he d doesn't allow movement on gap scheme plays. There you see, I mean, that's a, a 300 pounder with somebody throwing at his feet and he doesn't go to the ground. Uh, very athletic for a, a, a big man. So we're very excited to get Ricky out of, out of Springdale Harbor. That's 300 pounder making the, making the play downfield. So he, he can run. So it's great, great quick swim move, swim move there. And that's our, that's our signing class for this, for this year. <laughs> Tell you what, would like, to, would like to thank everybody that, uh, that made this possible. Again, it's like Christmas for us. Uh, as a coach, I'm, I'm super excited. We've got a great group already on board and a great group that's going to be joining us. Uh, we're very excited. Again, coaches, thank you. You did an, an outstanding job of, of evaluating and going out and bringing them in. The city of Conway uh, is not – it's not a hard sale. It is, if we can get them here on campus, if we can get them to University of Central Arkansas's campus and show them around, and then we take them out on a tour of the city of Conway, if we can get them here, they're going to be UCA Bears. And that's, that's a tribute to, you know, we've got uh, the most outstanding administration. You know, we've, our president would come over on Saturdays and visit with our football recruits. I've been in a lot of colleges, and that's, that's not that's, – that, that don't happen. Uh, we've got a, an administration that's definitely uh, supportive of all of, its, of all of its programs. And I'd like to, to, to thank President Courtway. Thank you, Dr. Teague, for coming out and, and spending time with our recruits. Uh, the city of Conway, uh, when we're out in the community, the people go out of their way to make – our coaches, our players, their parents uh, feel, feel very at home and very welcome. Uh, and that was one of the things that I kept hearing over and over. Because a lot of these kids, most of them, every one of them visited other schools. And they would say, Coach, your, your, your campus is so beautiful. The people are so friendly. The uh, community, everybody in the community are, are just so warm and outgoing. Uh, you've got a special place here. So, you know, it, it's, it's not a hard sale at the University of Central Arkansas. And that's, you know, I'd like to thank everyone on campus for, for making that possible and everyone in the, in the city of Conway for, for making, that, making that possible and giving us a chance to, to bring in these young men. So, so, again, thank you so much. And this is our signing class.